Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Big D. Today I want to show you how I make two of my favorite catfishing baits. And we're going to go out and put them to the test. Hopefully we'll catch some fish. So stay tuned for this free 99 knowledge. Alright guys, so let me show you what we're going to be using here. Alright, so I went to the local grocery store and found some close dated chicken gizzards and hearts. These are an awesome catfish bait because they are a little bit more tender than chicken livers and they have some fat still on the meat, especially a lot of the individual chunks. And that's really gonna help it hold to your hook a lot better. As you can see, a lot of times you can catch this on clearance for $1.26. Guys, that's less than I pay for a carton of worms for an awesome bait. Okay, for our secondary bait that I'm going to be making, I've got some leftover, uncooked, unpeeled shrimp. This is a little bit expensive in the stores, but the same concept applies. If you'll check the clearance section, a lot of times you can find this stuff really cheap. I got a bag, a lot bigger bag than this, for about $5. I ended up making about four of these individual bags that I take fishing with me. And then, of course, you're going to need your mixture ingredients which I use minced garlic this is the chopped up chunks in the smelly liquid that they're in and you're going to need some Kool-Aid you can use the packets of flavoring or you can use this liquid brand I like the liquid brand just because I think it coats a lot better and I think it's a little bit more potent but it doesn't really matter what flavor you're going to be picking just because you could use cherry grape strawberry I've had the most luck with grapes, so that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, let's bust this open, and when we come back, I'll show you how I mix it and what I do, and then we'll take it out and fish with it. All right, guys, let me show you how to make my shrimp bait that I like to use a lot. All these baits have worked really well for me. I catch a lot of channel catfish on it because that's what's local to my area. All right, so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way, and my two main ingredients for this is gonna be minced garlic, regular table salt and of course the large jumbo uncooked unpeeled shrimp like i said if you check the grocery stores a lot of times you can catch this clearance if it's close to date i got this pretty cheap i think i paid five dollars for about a pound maybe even more than that i'm not sure but ended up breaking it up into four of these sandwich baggies and i've got three in the freezer this has lasted me almost all year long. Great bait. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna take this minced garlic. I know you guys can't smell it through the camera, but if you could, I'm telling you, this stuff stinks really, really bad. This is very high powered and potent. I'm gonna take just a spoonful of this because it doesn't really take a whole lot. And I'm gonna put that in this baggie with our shrimp like so and then I'm going to take my regular table salt and I'm just going to liberally salt that pretty good and that's all there is to it guys I'm going to close my Ziploc baggie up and I'm going to work these flavors together really get them all good and cold, coated so that that salt spread out evenly and then the garlic chunks are in there and this bait's going to stink pretty bad guys i mean it's rough but that's what catfish like this bait works really well i'm going to take it out and try it today i'm going to kind of put my two baits up against the test against each other and see which one does the best so there you have it this is garlic shrimp all right guys so now let's go to bait number two this is my second favorite bait of all time. I've got the chicken gizzards and hearts. I caught these on clearance for $1.26. Like I said, just check your local. <clears throat> grocery store area. And you should be able to find some of these. Even if you don't, I don't think they're that high. I think they're like maybe $3. But I like to catch them when they're like that because I can make multiple baggies of these baits and freeze them for later dates. So I've got a lot of these chunks in here. 
And as you can see, look at the fat content on that. And it's still got that membrane of skin on there. That is perfect for keeping the bait on your hook. If you've ever fished with chicken livers, you'll know that you're going to have a lot of issues keeping those baits <clears throat> staying on your hooks. Cause they're... All right, so I'm just going to break this carton up into a couple of separate pieces. Yes, it is a little bit messy. These are still just a little bit frozen. All right, so I've got those two out of the way. And I've got my main portion here. I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc baggie. These work great to store your bait. And even if you take this bait out fishing with you like I am today, and I don't use it all, I can bring it right back, throw it in the freezer. Just as long as I mark it with a marker on the outside, I just put catfish bait. That way nobody actually eats it, but hopefully you don't have that problem here. All right, so I'm gonna take my garlic once again, because garlic is a real big scent that catfish like. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of the juice in there. And that's all I'll need for that. And once again, you're gonna take your regular table salt and I'm going to liberally salt this really good. And then last but not least, I'm going to be using my Koi. A lot of people have seen me use this before. I made my hot dog recipe video. If you ain't got a chance to see that, go check it out. It's in my videos. It actually does very well for Channel Catfish as well. Uh, that video got 30,000 views. Uh, awesome, awesome video. Uh, but this is also one of my other favorite baits that I've tried here recently, and it works really well. But I like to use the grape. I don't know what it is about grape and cherry, but they seem to like those flavors the most. I don't know if it's the sweetness or just something that tracks them to the scent. You can use the powder form packets. They work just as well. I just don't think they coat as evenly as a liquid does. So I bought the liquid squeezy bottles. I think they're a little bit higher concentrate too, but... I'm just going to give this two or three good squirts. Then I'm going to take my Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to seal it up really good. And you'll have to be careful too because this will stain your hand a little bit. That's why I like to use the baggies. But all I'm going to do is just work that around really, really, really good. You see how it's getting dark on the meat? That helps me see just how coated that the meat has become. All right, I'm gonna work this around for a few seconds and then I'll show you the final product. All right guys, so that's it for this video. We ended up making the gizzard and hearts. These are covered in my garlic and Kool-Aid and salt recipe. I'm gonna take these out and put them to the test against my garlic shrimp, probably my second favorite bait of all. And you guys have already seen my hot dog and Kool-Aid flavored baits. They work really well for channel catfishing as well. So overall, you got two really great baits here that we're making. We're gonna go test them out and see how well they do neck to neck. But for about $6, I've made enough bait here to do me for my whole 2020 catfishing season. I don't fish a whole lot for catfish, but I do like to get out there at least five to 10 times a year and try to target these fish. And overall, that's a great and cheap, non-expensive bait that works a lot better than the store-bought brands. So, thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please hit that subscription button, ring that bell, so you get notifications whenever I drop new videos. And if you would, give us a thumbs up. That helps circulate the video a lot better. And I would appreciate it, guys. Stay tuned.